We are 10 days out. Welcome back to the prep series. We are 10 days out from the first show of the season. Can you guys believe that? So today I'm going to take you guys through another day in the life on prep. You guys know the drill. So I am training today. We have a back and biceps. And then like I told you guys in the last episode, my protocol is kind of freaking crazy right now. We are on zero carb. So I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating. And remember that this is an extreme. We are basically just trying to deplete my body as much as possible and get stage lean before peak week next week, which will be the next episode. And I will take you guys through what my protocol is on peak week, which is basically where we just get pumped up and really prepare my body for the show. Um, but right now is the hardest part because we are depleting, right? And then we will fill out a little bit before the show, kind of dry out. But for now, I'm going to take you guys through what I'm eating. Um, I'm going to have Emily come and film my workout today, so that's going to be awesome. And then I'm just going to take you guys through another day of my life and keep you updated. So let's get into it with meal one. <laughs> for my little egg white pancake. I have a reel on my Instagram if you guys wanna know more about how to make that, but just egg whites and then green beans. I just finished up that meal. It was delectable. I love that egg white pancake. I know it's crazy in it, but I know I'm gonna have it in my reverse diet after the shows too, because it's honestly so good. I might add a little bit of oats to it, like once I have carbs. I am going to work on some protocol updates for my clients, check in with them. You guys know like my mindset, I get like very high anxiety during prep and like very scatterbrain, like almost like very go, 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 like scattery um, all day. So I really had to like reflect and like learn about myself and what works for me because honestly prep is all about like finding what works for you. Like I know that, that sounds pretty self-explanatory, but like I've gone through a lot of like self-reflecting over the past years of competing because this is my third year that I'll be competing and I'm only 21 years old, you know, I'm still like figuring out myself, but I have learned a lot about myself and I figured out if I front load my day, it has helped me with my mental clarity so much. So what I mean by that is I get up, did my fasted cardio like you guys saw, have my first meal, and then since I'm spacing out my meals two to two and a half hours, after that, I have my pre-workout meal and I get to the gym, I train my client, and then my head is so much clearer after that because I've done my lift, I've done my cardio, I can check all my boxes, like prep wise, you know what I mean? And then I get everything else I need to done. And then it only gives me this two hours right now when I have a hard stop, gotta be out the door, headed to the gym. And during this time is when I get my content done. It's when I get my schoolwork done. You guys saw like on the treadmill, I'm doing my, watching my lectures, reading my textbook. But if I really just front load my day, it has been helping me so much mentally. And I structure everything out like I've been showing you guys like app I use. So I literally look like a crazy person, but I structure out like literally every single hour of my day and that honestly just helps me i know that, that sounds like like for other people that might be like stress inducing but for me it's just what i figured out works for me so if that's something that you struggle with the app i think is called structured um i just use like any any like little to do list and like structure out my day so i know that i'm on track like i always get that feeling of like oh i'm behind i need to be doing something so that kind of helps me but anyways, I'm gonna work on some client plans. Um, as you guys know, I'm a coach for bodybuilding clients and lifestyle clients, and I freaking love it, but I'm not taking any clients right now. And little YouTube exclusive, you guys will be the first to know, um, 
I'm going to start taking clients again, like right after my prep, like once I'm done with the shows, I'm going to start taking clients and like fully dive back into that. But right now I'm like focusing on the clients I do have, because I do really want to make sure that I can be the best possible coach for these girls and like give them my all while I have the bandwidth for it. And then once after the shows then I'm going to take on new clients. So stay tuned on my Instagram for that so that you guys can be the first to like add to the waiting list but i'm excited to like fully have the energy to dive back into my coaching and like take on new clients onboard new people because this is what i love to do so anyways i'll stop the rambling i'll see you guys at the next meal all right little fit check it is now 11 a.m so i'm about to head out to the gym train a client and then i hit back and buys and then cardio but yeah we have this little gray crop top light blue shorts and then my busted up Nikes. So let's go make my pre meal and my post meal. It is so rainy and gloomy in Florida today. It's so sad. For my pre meal, I did not lie. We are zero freaking carb. So you guys know, usually in your pre-workout, you have a little bit of carbs. Today, it is just chicken, almond butter, and asparagus, but honestly, this is my favorite meal of the day on this menu. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that on my way to my training client. Honestly, not that bad. I'm keeping all of my stimulants to around my workout, so my coach was like, start double scooping your pre because you're gonna freaking need it. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing. And then I don't have any other caffeine for the rest of the day, besides in the fat burner I take in the morning. The Reinvent You fat burner has a little bit of caffeine in it. So that helps me through my fasted cardio, but he's like, literally just keep all of your stimulants around your workout. So that's what we've been doing. And it hasn't been, you know, horrible. Like I'm pretty sluggish throughout the day you guys have seen, but Gotta do what you gotta do, we're almost there. Less than two weeks, which is crazy, but we're gonna head to the gym and then we're gonna train. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. Ah, 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 ah. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Uh, uh, hit it once, no time. Side up, fuck you gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my high. One, two, three, four, throw up your fives. That's my heart. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. MC, make another hit. Whoa. This ain't what you want. Project, project. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want.
name, man, and I could let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only chasing after bags. Now I got a game plan, and I'm out here with the woo. 703 I fives, look alive, look alive. Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side. Oh well, fuck them, dog. We gon' see how hard they ride. I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys. We up on the other side, niggas acting like we tied. I've been gone since late like July, niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I bitch come through. You and you, I'ma get the money. Trick, 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 and get the loot. Pull, pull, pull up with that Draco. Play with Drake and I'ma shoot. My, my, my weapon be the instrument. I blow you like a flu. Alright, cardio is done, lift is done. Felt good today. I was definitely in a slump, I love you guys, but it felt a little bit better once I got about halfway through my workout. Definitely went hard today, which was awesome. It's kind of cool. I was telling Emily, because she's like, oh, like, is it like harder now? Like, this is probably like the hardest part. And I'm like, yeah, it's the hardest part because I'm on like the lowest amount of energy because my food is the lowest and cardio is the highest, right? And your body has like been in a depleted state for so long at this point months and months but also it's like the light is at the end of the tunnel and it's like i only have like a little bit more than a week to go like realistically just like a week more of work and so that kind of gives you like that little mental boost it's like okay i can do this for a week so definitely feeling it but it's just, i would say it's almost mentally easier than when you're eight weeks out because at eight weeks out it's like oh my god i have to do this for two more months whereas now it's like I can do this you know what i mean anyways so post workout again no carb we have mahi mahi so white fish and asparagus we're gonna eat that next meal of the day fourth meal i have mahi so white fish and then green beans and what i've been doing is throwing my truff hot sauce on there so we have this and then I have an exam for one of my classes. I'm honestly so hungry that this tastes good. All right, fifth meal of the day. We have another meal with just protein and fiber. So we have chicken and asparagus, but I threw that truff hot sauce in there again. So very, very good. And then also, since we're getting closer to the show, one thing, and I'll talk about this in the Peak Week video, is you do have to start controlling salt. So I'm trying to keep everything super consistent. My water intake, a gallon every day, salt. So I, I've always been salting all my meals with Himalayan pink salt, but I keep it to like roughly a sixth of a tablespoon with each meal um, throughout the entire year. Now that I'm getting a little bit closer to peak week, I want to make sure my sodium intake is like the same every single day, limiting as many variables as possible. And I got really annoyed of like trying to measure it out with like a measuring spoon because I only had a quarter teaspoon and I don't have to like eyeball it. So what I've been doing is I've been getting like a sea salt grinder and then I just do five cranks on each meal. So a little pro tip for you if you get lazy like I do. And then I just got two of them and threw it in my gym bag. So I always got the salt. Pro tip. So, okay, Oreo, Reese's, Butterfinger, M&M's. <laughs> you crush the Oreos up and mix it in. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie butter? No, no. Crush the Oreos. What can we stuff in this blonde? Yeah. Well, just feel free to explain that. All right. Anyways, it is now 9.30. And I just cooked my mahi for my last meal. Surprise, surprise, more white fish. Bikini prep core. So my last meal is white fish, almond butter, and asparagus, which sounds crazy, but it's at this point, it's like a delicacy because I get to have almond butter. I look forward to it all day. It's so awesome. So I'm gonna prep that meal. Yeah. So this is the last meal of the day. So beautiful, so amazing. <laughs> that is going to wrap up my full day of eating. We're almost there. Next video will be peak week. So I cannot wait to film that for you guys. And then it is show day and we have 
so many ideas in the work. So I'm super excited for that and to share this with you. But thank you guys for following along. I love creating this content for you guys. And as you saw in the gym part of this video, I did get a new camera lens. So everything is going to look very cinematic and fun. And I can't wait to play around with that on show day and everything like that. So we have super exciting things coming up. But I will see you guys in the next video in a few days for peak week. So I'm going to do a suit reveal then because my suit comes in in a couple of days. I decided to get a new one. But be sure to keep up with me on Instagram and on TikTok so I can keep you guys updated in the meantime. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.